So what is going on guys, Mirko from Wartech here and today I kind of have a discussion video or more I guess it's kind of a discussion slash review video and today what I wanted to talk about is my one year switch from Android to Apple. So um, you guys probably already know and you guys seen in my other videos before I actually do have an iPhone 6s. Now everyone I'm pretty sure on this channel that does make videos for this channel and run stuff through WordTech, they actually pretty much all have Androids and I remember Ethan was giving me some crap for going over to iPhone but I think I kind of switched for a couple good reasons. Uh, yes there is stuff that I miss from Android from going from Android to Apple but first I just kind of want to say my background with Android. So a little bit about my background with Android. The very first Android phone I had was back when I was with, in, with Virgin Mobile. I believe it was an LG Optimus phone. It was back in sixth grade and I'm a freshman now in college. So that's way back. That's what, seven, eight years ago since I first had my first Android phone. So it's not like I've always been an Apple bandwagon. I've been using Androids all the way up till last July, last June. And then that was to the point kind of where I wanted to switch. So my very last Android phone was the Nexus 5. Uh, actually, I used the same Nexus 5, or actually two Nexus 5s, uh, in two years. So, from freshman to sophomore year, I used the Nexus 5, the first gen, and then I had to take it back to T-Mobile because it's starting to slow down and not work. And then I got the newer generation Nexus 5 from uh, soph from sorry, yeah, sophomore year to senior year. And then after my senior year, I kind of realized that I wanted to switch over. So the things that I was getting tired about my Android phone were later on as time goes on, um, it kind of started to get slower. Um, if you guys kind of know what I mean, I understand that the iPhone is going to do the same thing, but I'm going to kind of explain my reasonings why behind it. So as soon as I first get my Android phone, uh, everything runs super smooth, really fast, really great. And then it just sort of starts going downhill slowly year by year. By the time it hits two years, you're kind of at that cycle where like, hey, you know, it's you got to kind of get a new phone, it's getting really slow. Now don't get me wrong, I love stock Android, I love how it ran. It's just for some reason, it just starts going slower, slower, slower. Now I'm not too big on the tech under the phones, more rather than the computers and stuff. But to me, I always seemed like it would have just a small downfall as months and months go on. And it would periodically just get super slow. And on top of that, with my last Android after two years, the battery just got flat out. Uh, I would go into school, midway through the school I'm at like 20%, not even using it that much. And I'd have to go frequently look for a charger, do all that kind of stuff, and I wasn't a big fan of it. Next, I really like how Android, you can take over the phone and you can literally customize it to whatever you want. Now. As I'm getting older, less and less than that is an importance to me. Before, my 16, 17 year old self would be like, yeah, we want to get all these things for the phone. We want the latest uh, jailbreak signage and mod, I think it was. Um, this and this and this. But now for me, I just go to work, school, um, internship stuff. And really, I wasn't too interested in that stuff anymore. I just needed something that's going to run fast all the time has a decent camera and has some really nice messaging features because that's kind of the thing that I'm using frequently now. So a lot of the things that I was having problem on with my Android was that calls were being dropped and that messages weren't being sent. Now you could say that is on the carrier side, but there was even times where I could send a message to my mom, but I couldn't send the message to a coworker. And when it gets to that point, it's really that point where it's not reliable. And having group messages or group chats through a messaging app like Messenger through like the Android, it was really hard to send messages. Sometimes I wouldn't receive messages till later on or it would take forever to send because there was a point where I had six group, group chats on my phone going back and forth constantly every day and it was hard to receive messages. I'd have to be like, hey, can we do a Hangouts for this? I'm not a big fan of the Hangouts app. So everyone had to go download Hangouts app, make a new Hangout do this and that and it was just a big hassle but with the iPhone the group messages work really well everyone at my work they give them work phones so right away as soon as I knew everyone had an iPhone I figured I might as well get an iPhone because there's frequent FaceTime calls whenever we're on a job site or whenever we're at, we're at uh, work 
you know, it's a huge campus, so if someone wants to bust someone and they have to show something, no one's going to want to download Skype on their phone, show them this and that. They're just going to say, get on FaceTime, call me on FaceTime, show me what you need on the camera, and that's it. Also, on my phone right now, I have 11 group chats for work. All of these are going to be including engineers, uh, managers, a lot of different kind of stuff. With 11 group chats, if I miss something out, I'm going to lose... I'm going to probably either A, lose my internship because something's missing out, or B, I'm going to be out of the loop and I can't do any of that stuff. So that's why I kind of went right away with the iPhone because everyone there is on the iPhone and I figured if I had an iPhone, I would be set to the point where I don't have to worry about if I'm going to be losing messages, dropping or missing calls and having that ability to FaceTime, say my manager if I'm out somewhere and I need help rather than him coming all the way out and checking it out. Now going back to the part where I was talking about how the Android goes slower and slower, I'm sure this is going to happen with the iPhone, but the thing is, one of my mom's phones that she has right now, so before now she has the 6S, but previously she had the iPhone 5, and she had the iPhone 5 for I believe three and a half years or three years before she just decided to upgrade because she basically got it for free and her iPhone 5 for the whole time was filled up with at least 200 megabytes left to spare and this only has 600 megabytes left and on top of that the phone stably kept its speed all throughout um, there wasn't times where her battery was going fast or anything if you really don't do much with your phone except message you have social media not a lot of background stuff your phone isn't gonna die a lot fast with battery but what I noticed with Androids is you start downloading themes you start downloading uh, this and that running background tasks then after that the phone battery starts going down. But like I said before, I have nothing against Android. Does that mean I'm gonna switch back to, uh, does that mean I'm Apple forever? Absolutely not. If Android comes out with a new phone, actually the Google phones are really nice, but like I said before, I need to worry about first work, able to receive messages there before I switch over, but the new Google phones that Google's are coming out with is super nice. I'm really interested in getting one of those, but like I said before, I can't really risk that point so if everyone over on one side if one team is using Apple and you're communicating with that team a lot you kind of have to look at the priorities so I'm not trying to be biased here that I'm thinking Android is the worst Apple is the best it's just kind of to that point where you have to think about it back then you know I was rocking Android really hard back my freshman year I was telling my friend me and him would have every single day Apple to Android fights why this is better this and that um, I really liked Android back then because of the freedom. You literally could do whatever you desired on the phone. And I guess suppose you could do the same thing with Jailbreak, but with Android, it was super simple. You just download the CyanogenMob Toolkit or the Nexus Toolkit, unlock the phone, uh, unlock it, boom. You're open to whatever you want to do, and that was a really great thing about it. So guys, in conclusion of all of this, basically why I really wanted to switch over was because the features on the messaging and then the FaceTiming were really important for me for work. Switching over to it also because of the speed and reliability. I also see that apps, developers really focus on towards Apple rather than towards Android, and that's kind of a crappy thing because I feel like developers, front-end developers, need to be pushing at the same pace. If you have one developer that's pushing Apple at a faster pace, they need to be pushing Android at the same pace, or else you're going to have people that's going to be switching over from app, from Android to Apple because Apple's getting everything first and then Android's getting kind of stuck behind the run. But guys, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this small rant. Um, I do miss some of the Android features, but I cannot say that I don't miss the slowness of it going after two years being slow and some of the poor messaging features. I really do like Apple. Does that mean I'm going to be getting the newest iPhones as soon as I come, they come out? No. I'll probably stick with this guy for four years and then, like I said, I might just do year-end reviews of what I think about it. But as of right now, the phone's holding up. I don't use a case on it. It's not broken, surprisingly. Let me knock on wood real quick. But the camera's flawless. Haven't had any problems. It still runs super fast. I barely have any storage left on this too, so it's not a 64 gig. I think it's the 12 gigabyte or 16 gigabyte, whatever the slow, the lowest is for it. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, me and Ethan are going to be coming out some more content soon, and I'm starting summer after tomorrow after my exams. So guys, if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see a second year in review of this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.